and here we go. So we're going to be having minus true touch as the purple zerg at the bottom left location, and his opponent is going to be the yellow Terran Alk Kogat at the top right location on Bloody Ridge. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really excited for that. Kogat, he did so some very nice TBZs here, and uh, this 18th TLC, and I think he can hold up uh, to two touch. I could imagine him seeing doing really well. So True Dutch is probably the favorite still in this series. I mean, if you win eight TLCs, <laughs> you're probably the favorite for anything. He, he won eight TLCs. I checked that today. Wow! Really impressive by True Dutch. I mean, that's that's like from eighteen eight. Wow, that's quite a lot. Yeah, it's double as much as Ken. Does it mean he's double? Is he's twice <laughs> Ken now? Is that how it works? <laughs> um, Just kidding. I would like to think that, but no. <laughs> <laughs> of course, as uh, most of you may know, Scan, a Korean player who resides in the US, did play in the early TLCs, and after some discussion internally and also in the forums, <coughs> his permission to play in these events was revoked for his, uh, you know, Korean contacts and his ability to train with the best on the of the best on the fish server mm, mm, there was yeah. I think I, I think there was also m uh, some lag mentioned it was definitely not an easy choice one way or another so it's not like it, it's uh, usually a lot of people have a strong opinion on this kind of subject I personally didn't have one because I didn't know exactly what what was going down but I mean it these kind of things happen one way or another whenever you're you like it or not, there's some things that sometimes are out of our control, so... Yeah, I agree with that. And I think a fine choice was made in the end, so... I mean, I, I, I know that uh, Scan is uh, a very good player. I also uh, seen some of the first DLCs when he was uh, playing. I, I mean, mm. so... At least we did get him that right at the beginning, so we did have some time where he was playing, and then some time where he's not playing. So yeah, and when we saw him, uh, to be honest, uh, being pretty dominant in, in the games he played. Yes. I think he won a lot of his off race matches too, get, uh, except against Two Touch, actually. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Actually, he, if I believe correctly, he lost uh, all the matches that he off raced and won every single one that he played Terran against Two Touch. Yeah, yeah, that was the one finals where he was down 0-2 after mm -hmm. off racing and then he did pull just three uh, three straight wins yeah uh, you know against two touch so mm. pretty darn good yeah pretty darn good. I, I, what's happening in the game here it's really weird because we do have a bunker on the front but that bunker can get completely sniped with enough zerglings mm, yeah there's some SCVs in the back blocking two more marines two in the bunker Kogut being very cautious here he doesn't want to lose the SCV that's building the command center here. Very nice job, actually. Microsoft back. Two touch not committing with all the links, which is fine. Just poking here. Now he's going in. He wants to bypass it. Covid, can he block? Can he block the choke? No, he can't really do that. But at six links in the main. But it did take a lot of damage. Yeah, we will see if it turns out good for Two Touch, as it's highly micro dependent here. Toga chasing, two SCVs blocking, but now the links go in for the surround, and will it be enough? I think it's going to be very close. Nice micro from Kogut. Just one link remains, and yeah, the marine is going to yeah. clean that. Ah, it's, it's already damaged. Outstanding micro here from Kogut, dealing with that aggression very nicely. I, I do think that, however, Trudach kind of made a little bit of a mistake trying to go run past that. I would actually think that it would be better to try to snipe the bunker. Ah, uh, I don't think you can do it. He had three SCVs off the line. Uh, he could have repaired the bunker. Two more marines on mm, the back. Didn't reinforce. Yeah, maybe. Hard choice, That's definitely. Sure. Hard choice. That's for sure. It's a hard choice. And now two touch is uh, transitioning into a into a two bats a two hatch muta play here. Spire already going down. And if you have ever seen two touch play in this kind of uh, situation, you will note that his Vita Micro can be exceptional. 
Yeah. I do think, however, that there are a few things that most people don't, like, don't, you usually don't do, but you actually can defend really well against Mutas with just a few play, well-placed bunkers. Uh, usually, if you place just turrets, turrets can be kind of microed well, but you can't really micro well against the bunkers, so <laughs> there's actually ways to completely shut down a two-hatch Muta build. One of them would be Valkyries. Uh, yeah, you, can, you can definitely prepare quite a bit and have the bunkers in a good location. Good Zerg will still do some damage, but yeah. the question is how much damage, essentially, because the 2 s Muta wants to do a lot, a lot of damage. Yeah. Basically. So, Muta saving up here, he's on 21 of 42 supply, enough room for those Mutas to kick in. 700 gas and should align really nicely, it's getting 7 Mutas right off the bat. Oh, but the turrets are also already getting placed. Yeah, I cook it. He's a bit. Uh, yeah, I, actually, that's a fine timing on the turret. They were slightly the early, but. Slightly <laughs> early, yeah. But, uh, I mean, come on. <laughs> it's true that you don't expect him to go, like, I don't know, crazy Zerg. <laughs> no, you don't. I mean, a player that, that is so good with his meter micro. Uh, tends to rely on the mutas. Which is often. funny that actually that's sometimes a weakness. When you're a player that's so good with something, you tend to stick with it, which allows other players to mm. pretty much blind counter you in in some uh, some occasions. Uh, yeah. I think I think we saw that with uh, um, it was Ziki versus Amlach on Outsider, where Amlach basically just went full defense and started taking bases with like ten cannons. <laughs> and Ziki just tried to out micro that with Mutas and eventually didn't yeah. work. So but here we go, Mutas coming yeah. in. They flew over the turrets. Now he has to get out. He takes a lot of pot shots here. He didn't get too many kills. I think that was just one SCV and there's two barracks pumping. He's getting the plus one Kogadis. I like his spot here to be honest. He seems well defended. And now the speedlings are coming in. He wants to snipe the turrets here. That's a nice move. Kogit a bit late on the reaction, but here come the marines, two turrets go down, but two more remain and all the links are dead. There's just eight meters. What is uh, Tutaj doing? Is he committing to this? Yes, he's making more meters at home, he's not making drones. Is so it, he's at 18 enough. drones. Yeah, yeah. He has been on 80 drones the entire time, he hasn't made a single drone. Yeah, so Koget can like completely forget about his natural if he wants to and just go to pretty much production from main. I mean, it, it's, possi it's completely possible with this amount of drones. Mm, I don't think he intends to do that. No, he definitely yeah. doesn't. <laughs> if worse comes to worse, it could be a could be a thing. What what Kogut wants to achieve here? Um, normally, you want to get out a vessel really fast and the irradiate because the the irradiate more often than not stops the two edge meter player just you know dead in the tracks unless they have very good bike and can split that meter out very fast. Yeah, it just does too much damage. Kogut trying to get two more turrets up in his natural here, but he lost them. Uh, Tutaj being very busy microing it, trying to find holes, but there's turrets everywhere. Three turrets here. Marines not reinforcing very quickly. Two oh. down, you might get the other two as well. Kogut mass repairing. Oh, and will the repair be enough? Oof. No, the turrets are dumb. That's a lot of mutas. Yeah, a lot of mutas are going down for this, and it, it the one who can't afford to lose units is actually true touch. Yeah, he can he can replace the mutas. Yes, 40 mutas now, but he wants to preserve the mutas at the same time because how how you overwhelm the the Terran player in this kind of spot it's often by having actually a big chunk of them. You come here, they come again, taking down two turrets. Kogut has to relocate again. It's the strength of the two edge mutas. The Terran is very busy. You know, defending every angle of his base with turrets and marines. Because the turrets alone don't cut it, right? Yeah. Two oh! Turrets are cancer, but there one more, one more muta goes down to nice target fire. And there's more and turrets the in the main. Up in the main base again. Oh, and another muta goes down. And another muta. Again, but and another! Just too much oh turrets. my god. So uh, that's just losing. Like, wow. he's at 11 mutas right now, which is pretty much like. Yeah. Oh my god. And he loses another one. And another one. Oh my Down god. Down to 10 now, even though he's constantly producing mutas. Keep in mind, he's still on 18 drones, so no transition here for, for two touch possible. He can't 
really do anything, and Kogati feels secure now. He knows the meter count is dwindling. He's moving across the map with his big bio force. Two touch, he knows. Oh my god. With the Muta, he has to go back now. He can't. He cannot go for a base trade situation. It's just not possible. Kogit has more turrets than, than Two touch has Mutas. <laughs> it's looking very grim. You might see the Polish Terran player again as uh, fellow countrymen go up 1 0 here. It's entirely possible. Ooh, even drones are rallied now to the main for Terrans. Yeah. Uh, just. Uh, Two touch is. I, I don't know if maybe he's a little bit tired or something, but. Mm, yeah, I mean. I don't know. I think he had this built in mind from the early stages on. Yeah, so yeah. Work out because Kogit defended so well, and in this kind of position, it's very hard, actually. He tries to transition now. He did make a couple of drones. He does get a third hatchery, but you know, no lurk attack in sight, and his economy isn't really good either. It's like 20 drones. Yeah. And that army of of uh, Togit wouldn't be scary in the mid game normally, but there is now with you know nothing else on the map. Well, to be fair, there's 30 SCVs, so. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, another two, another three, four, oh my god, how many meters? Very, very nice, very nice target fire. Fire COVID here. So many meters are falling that... Yeah, should send the reinforcements now, the meter count is getting a bit low, you don't want to lose the medics for free. Yeah. yeah. Here go. Units are moving out. But just uh, six, six zel uh, zealots, six marines only, so... <laughs> I mean, that's not that scary. No, it's most certainly not, and now it's only three. Ooh. Ooh. Two medics, is, that's a good one. And, yeah, there's a Valkyrie coming actually for Kogit. Oh. So not, not going straight for the Vassal, uh, you know, which I kind of assume. Going for the Valkyrie here. He knows that the two touch, he tries to defend on, on Ling, Muta, until he can hopefully eventually transition out of this. It's just that happening, losing here some more Lings. Down to 12 meters again. Bioforce is still big. Mm. It's, it gets supplemented with more Mercuries. What is he gonna do, actually? Yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, there's no way. I mean, that's why I like Valkyries so much <laughs> against Mutas. Yeah, the Valkyrie gets a pot shot off here. And, and kills actually one Mutas. So. <laughs> yeah, he takes one Muta as a prize. That's, that's always nice. Uh, another Muta goes down. I mean, there's 11 of them. Now the Valkyrie is gonna start shooting. Yeah, and, and yeah. also the Valkyrie, if I remember correctly, has like almost twice the range of a Muta, if I remember correctly. Mm. Yeah, it has a very good range, does the AoE splash, Yeah. So very nice unit to use. Downside is it's just so slow in acceleration, you can't, you have a hard time, you know. Yeah, microing it, it's very... It, it, scourges with it. You can, if I remember correctly, you can actually micro it like a Vulture, it just works a little bit different, so... I don't exactly remember how, but... Yeah. See, true touch. She is very. Oh. She's very eager here to intercept the bio, time and time and time and time again. Here, with his meters, just make him stop, delay him, delay him, delay him, because he needs to get up something, but but he can't. Go get his across the map. Twenty-five drones now for true touch, and here the marines come in, step into the third base. It's gonna be dead, I guess. Oh, he gets a Valkyrie. That's a nice hit with the scourge. But all the drones go down at the same time. And not enough to mutas to defend. Uh, to this? Four mutas left. Uh. Yeah, it's down to 20, 25 gas here. There's a lot of scourges now, but nothing to defend really. And that's, yeah, just five mutas left. What is he gonna do? It's and been a scrappy game, game, though. It's been a scrappy game. But often what happens if, if the two hatch fails. Uh, and the Terran gets on the aggressive side, and yeah, it's their situation. Yeah. So, with that third base, down goes two touches up of, uh, you know, stabilizing somehow in this game. And, I mean, this it's a recurring theme, right? Kogut, he's a guy that, that deals with the early aggression, apparently, in any matchup, really well. He did defend against Zealots quite nicely, did defend here against the Lings and the two hatch follow-up, really nice. I gotta say, I gotta say, that was darn good. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Koget used to practice with True Touch. If I remember correctly, they are actually they, they practice a lot together. If I rem if I actually recall this correctly, because of uh, I, I think it was Net Wars PL or something like that. One one of the sites that, that actually encourages Polish players to play together. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if Koget actually knows like the style that True Touch likes to play. Yeah, I imagine they they know each, each other pretty well from practice games. You know. Yeah. From Netwars PL and also playing together in the Nation Boys. Yeah. Uh, it should be a thing. Okay, so we're gonna go jump right.